Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm a year 13 at St. Mary's College. Today I will be checking out a career in ophthalmology. Ophthalmology is the speciality within medicine that deals with delicate eye surgery such as cataract surgery as well as treating diseases of the eye. The Eye Institute was established in the late 1990s. Using the latest technology, resident ophthalmologists have performed life-changing eye surgeries on thousands of New Zealanders. Hi. Sophie's meeting Dr Hi, Trevor Gray. Hi Sophie, nice to meet you. I'm Trevor Gray. Oh, nice to meet you too. Should we go and have a chat? Absolutely. Come on through. So Trevor, why did you decide to go into ophthalmology? Easy. It's the coolest thing I could find in medicine. It's just amazing how one can, within 15 minutes, almost painlessly change somebody's life forever. It's just hugely rewarding and, and so much fun. Hi Jim, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. Okay, come on through, please grab a seat. Yeah, so Jim was referred up to us um, from his optometrist in Palmerston North, who had confirmed Jim's uh, awareness that his vision, uh, after being perfect four years ago after his cataract surgeries, had gone significantly blurry in his left eye. Trevor switches to the YAG laser to burn away a hazy membrane in Jim's left eye. The popping sounds are little explosions. Perfect. All done. The entire procedure takes less than 10 seconds. Any pain? No. no. Uh. Dr Adam Watson is an eye surgeon whose focus is the front of the eye. So why did you decide to specialise in eyes? Uh, I did medicine because I thought I was going to be a psychiatrist. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I did discover while I was at medical school uh, that I like surgery, I like very fine surgery, and I like knowing a lot about a small part of the body, and that's what eyes can give you. I'm a, I'm a front of the eye person, okay. so when I was over in England for three years, I especially subspecialised in, uh, in cornea and refractive surgery, uh, doing cataract, and also in eyelid surgery. What's the best thing about your job? The joy of ophthalmology is that you can make a huge difference to people. And you can um, literally see someone today who has poor vision, maybe ne next to being blind, and after surgery, tomorrow, they can be seeing maybe 2020. It's an incredible occupation in that way. And another blink, and wide as you can. Technology is very integrated within ophthalmology. Um, ophthalmology is almost one of the most technology-driven subspecialties within medicine. So we can offer our patients better care, better vision, and safer vision correction. What this machine does is all of the most delicate parts of cataract surgery. So it can create all of the incisions into the eye that we need to make. It doesn't need a blade. Wow, it's amazing. I know, it is. Yeah. Seriously. I love this machine. Yeah. <laughs> Another of the Eye Institute specialists who has performed over 15,000 cataract operations is Dr Peter Ring. Although the eye is a very small organ, it's actually a very complicated organ, as I'm sure you're aware. And so it's, it's become so specialised now that people actually sub-specialise into little parts of a little organ. Awesome. And, you know, the surgery on the back of the eye is totally different from the surgery in the front of the eye. Professor Helen Dinesh Meyer specialises in complex glaucoma and cataract surgery. So Mrs Robson, we're just putting a clear drape across your face now. Yes. Cataract surgery is technologically very advanced and every movement and every uh, uh, machine and every um, instrument we use has a very specific and precise purpose. You have to be happy for nothing less than perfection because you're working with a very small area so perfection is the goal, you know, millimeters count and it's actually beautiful, beautiful surgery to do. So the first thing we need, we make is three tiny little keyholes, two or one millimeter in size. The, the qualities to be a good eye surgeon I think start off with the qualities to be a good doctor. Uh, I think the most important is compassion and a, a real genuine uh, caring and interest in people and being a, a part of people's life who feel vulnerable. So that's all the hard bit in the center, the nucleus out. We're doing very well, Mrs. Morgan. It's just a, a big cataract and a small opening, so we're just taking our time. Yes. You're okay, my dear? Yes, I'm Right, right. we're doing very nicely. Can you see how that's opening up? Yeah. You can see how small her eye is because it takes up the whole yeah. space. You've done super well. It was a big cataract. Oh, yeah. Glad we got it out. Yes, I know you are. One of the most common comments I hear about from patients is, vision is the most precious thing I have. 
I wouldn't want to lose my vision. So to be part of a, a career that actually works to help preserving people's vision and improving it is, is, is a gift, really. It's a pleasure to come to work every day. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Oh, da it's Daniela, is it? Sure. Hi, I'm Linda. Danielle has come to Eye Institute for follow-up laser surgery. Linda's role was to prep the patient prior to meeting her surgeon, Dr Nick Mantel. Yeah, so the patient this morning um, is Daniela. Uh, she had uh, a laser procedure for, to correct her short-sightedness probably about six months ago. Um, and she came back today because we are doing a bit of fine-tuning. Um, basically, it doesn't matter how good you are or how accurate the treatment is, uh, unfortunately there's probably about a 5% chance that the focus that you get after surgery is not quite what we want. Now fortunately, we know that we can go back and, and fine tune that. Light's just going to get a bit brighter for a moment here, alright? Doing a great job there. So I really like the, the idea of ophthalmology. Um, it was really challenging to get into, but the technology and the uh, science behind it really intrigued me. Well done. Well done. Well, it's life-changing for people. That's what I love about it. Um, within the space of 10 or 15 minutes, we can really change people's lives. Uh, they go from, in some cases, almost being blind to seeing the next day, and, uh, and it's quite a thrill. And I'll come and see you in about 15 minutes before you go home. Fantastic, that went really well. We're incredibly busy here. So within a week, I'd probably have two, maybe three operating sessions, which are half-day sessions, and the rest of the time I'm cons consulting. So Sophie was a, was a great surprise. Um, she's an intelligent young woman and very personable and has all the qualities to be a fantastic doctor, but she's certainly got, got what it takes. Focus, vision, intelligence, determination. During my time at the Eye Institute, I've learned a lot. After my time there, I would definitely consider a career in ophthalmology. To consider a career in ophthalmology, you'll need to take sciences and maths, and you'll need high marks. Next, complete a five-year degree in medicine. Vocational training is offered through the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Ophthalmology. You'll be awarded a fellowship on the satisfactory completion of examinations and training. Be prepared to work hard, however, the rewards are numerous. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.